Narayan Astra is a weapon of Lord Vishnu in his form of Narayan. The Narayan Astra, when summoned, fires millions of deadly missiles simultaneously. The Narayan Astra cannot target over a single person. Instead, it destroys anything and everything that comes in front of it. It is said that the intensity and destruction caused by this Astra only increases if it is met with resistance of any kind. Therefore, trying to counter the weapon only causes it to aggravate and causes more destruction than it normally would. Therefore, it is often referred to as one of the six Mantra Mukta Astras that could not be resisted. The only way to defend this Astra is to show complete submission to the Astra. Before the Astra targets a being in front of it, a complete surrender and submission towards the Astra with devotion is the only thing that can calm and eventually nullify the effect of the Astra. Nothing else can stop the Astra from causing destruction or spare its target. It is also said that it could only be used once in a war. If one tried to use it twice, it would devour the user's own army. There is only one story of the use of Narayan Astra in the Hindu scriptures. In the great battle of Mahabharat, Krishna told the Pandavas that winning the battle would be impossible until Acharya Drone was a part of the Kaurava army. Krishna knew that Drone could never be defeated in the battlefield. Therefore, he brings up a plan to somehow break his will. He suggested to Yudhishthira and the other Pandavas that if Drone was convinced that his son Ashwatthama was killed during the battle, he would then surrender and retire in grief. Accordingly, he asked Bhim to kill an elephant named Ashwatthama and claimed to Drone that he had killed Drona's son Ashwatthama. Following this plan, Bhim located and killed an elephant named Ashwatthama. He then loudly proclaimed that he had slain Ashwatthama so as to make Drone think that his son was dead. However, Drone did not believe Bhim's words and approached Yudhishthira. Drone knew of Yudhishthira's firm adherence to dharma and that he would never ever utter a lie. When Drone approached Yudhishthira and questioned him as to whether his son was truly killed in the battlefield by Bhim, Yudhishthira responded with a cryptic Sanskrit phrase, Ashwatthama hathaha iti narova kunjarova, meaning Ashwatthama is dead, but I am not certain whether it was a human. Drone knew that if Ashwatthama was dead, then his soul must leave with his son. So out of grief and believing his son to be dead, Drone descended from his chariot, laid down his arms and sat in a meditation position. In the meantime, Drupada's son Drishtadyumna took this opportunity and beheaded the unarmed Drone who was not aware of the whole proceedings on earth. To know in full detail about the enmity between Drone and Drupada, Watch the video linked above. On hearing how his father died, an enraged Ashwatthama unleashed the powerful Narayanastra. The earth shook, the sky seemed to catch fire, and a malefic star hung over the Pandava army as an inferno. Thousands of flames and missiles flashed down from the Astra. A hundred thousand arrows whistled down from the Astra every moment, reaping as many lives. The Pandavas tried to attack with their own arrows on the dreadful weapon, but the Narayana Astra only blazes more fiercely with each shaft that they shoot at it. Other fearful weapons screamed down. There were tornadoes of flames of a hundred color. The Narayana Astra destroyed an entire section of the Pandava army. Yudhishthira panics and concludes that they have now lost the war. Krishna, on the other hand, screams and roars, informing the Pandava army that the Narayan Astra only grows fiercer when it is resisted. He demanded everyone to lay down their weapons and prostrate themselves before Vishnu's Astra. Worship the Astra and it will grow mild. Krishna's word flashes across Krukshetra. In moments, every Pandava soldier had flung his weapons down and lied flat on his face before the apocalypse in the sky. But one Kshatriya, Bhim, had not put his weapons down. 
he stood alone and defiant in his chariot, roaring, that I am no coward to bow to Ashwatthama's astra. I will stand against it, even if no one else ever has. Erupting again in wrath, the Narayan Astra turns its fire on Bhim. A thousand fuming arrows flash down out of the sky on just his chariot alone. There was only one way to stop Bhim from killing himself. Krishna and Arjuna leap down from their chariot and run to him. Plunging through the white flames, they jump on him. Before Bhim realizes what they were doing, they snatch his weapons from him. Bhim roars louder still. They drag him out of the chariot, fling him down on the ground and themselves besides him. Bhim struggles desperately, but they had to hold him down on his face. When the last Kshatriya was on the ground, the Narayanastra grew mild again and disappeared eventually. Duryodhan encouraged Ashwatthama to summon the Narayanastra once again. But Ashwatthama informed him that the Narayan Astra can be summoned only once. If he called it again, it will consume not the enemy but the Kaurava army. It was due to Lord Krishna, who knew the remedy to the Narayan Astra, that the Pandava army was saved. Otherwise, their army would have been burnt to ashes by the powerful Narayan Astra. <laughs>